Oh boy, Squid Tard with another Georgia video. Yep, that's right. Now, contrary to popular belief, I am not here to crap all over Georgia and tell you that they're never going to be a dynasty ever again, but I'm also not here to gargle on some bulldog nuts and tell you Georgia is the greatest football team to ever do football in football history. So, we're going to stay in the middle here, and I'm going to give a unbiased look at this big question that I've received uh, for a long time now, ever since Georgia won the national championship uh, in 2021, actually. But now it's sort of been advanced uh, towards uh, this 2022 season where Georgia absolutely uh, made the most disappointing uh, national championship come to be. And that question is, by the title, is Georgia the next dynasty in college football? So... Made a video yesterday about how Alabama's sort of fallen apart in terms of dynasty. And because of that, uh, the big question is, uh, who's going to be the next dynasty? And everybody's looking at it to be Georgia. Obviously, uh, winning two national championships consecutively is not an easy feat. And I think there's only like a couple of teams in the history that have done that. Alabama back during the prime age of their dynasty. And then you got to look all the way back in the World War II era where Minnesota was like a dynasty or whatever. Uh, so now you look at Georgia and look at what they look. You look at what Kirby Smart has done in the past six, seven years. He's been at Georgia. Kirby Smart got hired at Georgia soon before I made my YouTube channel. So I've basically gotten to watch as he slowly progressed uh, Georgia into turning into a ginormous dynasty under him, or a sort of dynasty. Uh, that we, had, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I don't think Georgia is a dynasty yet, and I've said this before. Georgia, to me, if they want to be a dynasty, if, if I'm going to call Georgia an actual dynasty in the new era of college football. I think they got to go for a three-peat. That's just my general opinion. Winning two national championships is a significant feat. <laughs> it's a pretty big feat. Uh, so granted, uh, I give that to Georgia and and uh, Kirby Smart. And of course, I give that to the players and everything like that. Uh, Kirby Smart has done a significant job when it comes to recruiting. Ever since he's gotten there, and even before that, Georgia has gotten like top five uh, or at least top ten recruiting classes, some of them being the number one recruiting class. So to see them go all the way to the national championship this uh, late in the Kirby Smart era should not be that big of a surprise. Uh, he's recruited on a you know nationally top level uh, for more than four years at this point. So that being said, this isn't this really isn't a surprise that Georgia is competing as well as they are. But like I said, you know, a part of it is you got to develop this talent. You can't you can't just pick up a big class and then uh, out of nowhere do nothing with it. I mean, look at Jimbo Fisher over at Texas A and M. Uh, he's had some significantly high level classes especially last year, but that hasn't really done much for him as we've seen already. Uh, and you look at other cases too, um, as much as I hate to kind of refer back to us, Tennessee back in the days that they were big booty cheeks. Oh, uh, we had really good recruiting classes, really good players, some of which ended up being superstars in the NFL, but <laughs> in, in the college days, because of horrible coaching, uh, it didn't really do jack squat. So, all those things I give credit to Georgia for. Those are significant feats. But back to the question at hand here, are they the next dynasty? Well, like I said, they got to win themselves a third national championship in my eyes in a row in order for them to be a dynasty. And luckily for them, this is a fantastic year to do that. Uh, their schedule, in case you haven't looked at it, uh, is sponsored by Little Debbie. It's literally, I mean, there's just crap. All over, all over their schedule. It's so crap that people are saying the one team uh, that could, uh, the one trap game for Georgia is South Carolina. Oh, that, that, that. I, I can already hear it. Oh, you, 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 South Carolina. Uh, we'll see if Georgia's defense will have an aneurysm like ours did. I highly doubt that. Anyway, back, uh, back over to the main thing here. Uh, they're leaving. You look at their schedule. They don't play anybody out of conference that's really of um, significance. I don't think they, I mean, 
let, let me go ahead and pull up their schedule. Because I, I know they don't play Oregon again. Uh, give me a second. I should have pulled this up before the video began, but uh, I'm on a tight... I'm on a tight schedule myself, as a, as a, you can tell. I'm an academic hell. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to the uh, the schedule here. They're out of conference opponents: Sanford, UT Martin, uh, Ball State, and Georgia Tech. Yeah, it's, they they just have a bunch of stinkies on their uh, their schedule. In terms of that, and the SEC, I'm in. They play all the East opponents. Uh, their West opponent uh, that they get. Every single year, it's Ole Miss. Um, really, in my mind, it's all up to Tennessee. I don't think Auburn's going to do it in Jordan Hare. They don't have the potential just yet. Nobody's expecting Van near Florida to pull it off. Uh, the rest of the games, I mean, you have at home. You have South Carolina, Kentucky, Mizzou. Uh, all, you have all those games at home. So, uh, to me... Going into Neyland Stadium against probably the most talented team you play in the regular season, Tennessee, that's the most likely guarantee if Georgia is going to lose a game. They haven't lost a game since uh, the SEC Championship of last year. So they have a long way to go in terms of that. T Georgia is probably going to go in as a two-touchdown favorite, especially if Tennessee isn't undefeated when they head into that game. And, uh, well, yeah, I don't think... Uh, well, would Tennessee be undefeated? I don't know. They'd have to beat Bama in Tuscaloosa and then uh, drill through the rest of their opponents. So it, there's no telling whether or not they could be. They very well could. They very well could pull it off. But uh, let's go for the scenario that Tennessee has only one loss to Alabama heading into that game. Tennessee at this point still has a shot at making the playoffs. So they have everything to play for. So does Georgia, though. So to me... That's going to be an absolute. That that's got to be game day. I mean, that's that's a must watch game if the scenario lines up. Now anything could happen. Georgia could end up crapping against UAB. I uh, remember Kent State played Georgia close last season. I'm not saying that Kent State is on par with Georgia or anything like that. Uh, we saw it against you know Missouri too. Uh, Kent State and Missouri were two teams that kind of came out of nowhere and played Georgia close. And that mostly that's in part to Georgia just kind of falling around. And, well, they managed to wake up and eventually make a comeback in those games. Uh, so they could very well do that. We could have a scenario like that. But we could also have a scenario where one of these teams ends up uh, just pulling away too much. And even when Georgia wakes up, it's just not enough. And with that being said, even if they lose a game, <laughs> they're still in the shot for the playoffs. So uh, that Tennessee-Georgia game will become very will be very important if the scenarios line up to where I think they will, uh, which is Georgia or Tennessee, maybe one loss or no losses, uh, they ended up battling it out. That's going to be a great game to watch. Uh, now, if Georgia gets past Tennessee, uh, they're going to probably go undefeated. They'll make it to the SEC championship game, whether they play Bama or LSU. I don't, I don't see Georgia. I mean, they could. But I really don't see Georgia losing to either of those teams. Uh, LSU is going to be an improved team this year, I think. Uh, Alabama, I don't know. Uh, so if LSU goes back, maybe it could be a little closer. Maybe it could be a fun matchup to watch, but I think Georgia pulls it out. So 13-0 going into the playoffs. Um, I mean, if Georgia goes 15-0 again, uh, for the, uh, they win their third straight national championship, uh, there, don't, there won't be much for anybody to say about Georgia being uh, no good or Georgia's overrated or they got... <sighs> of course, I'll still... Uh, you will expect me to come on here and say that Georgia has three straight Mickey Mouse natties and that is what I will say. Uh, so uh, that's not going away anytime soon. You're still living in the Mickey Mouse clubhouse, but... Uh... <sighs> what do y'all think? Is Georgia going to win a third straight natty? Or is somebody going to rise up out of nowhere and beat the Bulldogs? You tell me down in the comments below. I'd really love to hear your answer. And until then, I'll see you all in the next video. I'm trying to make a video every single day, whether that's on this channel or the main channel over on Squid Tart or wherever else I can. Uh, I'm trying to make a video every single day. It's something I'm doing called March Meme Mania. And I'm at least trying to make one video every single day. So, uh... Got more in the future, that's for sure. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Power to Dardaria, and uh, go Vols too. Maybe we'll beat Georgia. We'll see, I don't know.